Good afternoon, everybody. Very welcome to our third episode of Multiphysics channel. Today, we are going to talk about running console in batch mode, which I call it make your life easy. I'm Kamran Iran Shahi. Very honored to be your host today. This is a short description about myself. Uh, I'm currently doing my PhD at Empa St. Gallen and ETH Zurich. I'm from Iran. I studied aerospace engineering and mechanical engineering. I got my first master in uh, Tehran Polytechnic of, on aerodynamics and the second master in internal combustion and through machinery from Politecnico di Milano. My expertise are experimental fluid mechanics and computational fluid dynamics, especially in the last few years I focused on CFD both on coding with Fortran and also working with uh, commercial softwares like uh, Comsul, ANSYS Fluent and OpenFOAM. And I'm famous for hiking all the time. And these are two truths and one, line, one lie about me. First, I'm coronavirus survival so far, of course. Trump is wrong, I won the election, and I just finished preparing this uh, presentation five minutes ago. So what is it? Uh, it's simply a console command to run console jobs without the GUI. It means that instead of using this very beautiful, fancy console interface, we are gonna work with this boring, ugly uh, black screen. But are we crazy to do that? Of course not, because there are some benefits for that. First of all, you will save your time and also licenses. Just imagine that you have like 10 files that you wanna run one, uh, or, uh, one after another, or you have another option to run all, the, all of them together. If you run all of them together, probably you will uh, run out of RAM and it will be a very, very slow process. So you prefer to run them one after each other. And it means that sometimes your simulation, for example, finishes at 2 a.m. in the morning and then you have to wake up and run another one, save the previous one, or you should wait and waste another eight hours to do it in the morning. But if you have a file with uh, action sequence, you can run all these files automatically, the, just all together, I mean automatically one after each other, and it will be saved and running automatically for days. Uh, for example, I re remember I had like two weeks uh, simulation with like, different files. I just did this file for half an hour, made this script, and then it ran for two weeks, and then after all, I had these results. But how, just follow me in the, Next slide that I can show you how you can do it. First thing that you should do is a little bit setting on your model. It means that you go to your model, you open your model, and then you come here, enable more option entry here. Then you will see this screen, you should uh, enable batch and cluster here. Then you can see uh, this batch and cluster here, and then you can see on your study, when you right click on your study, you can see uh, this cluster computing. So you right click on your study, the study that you wanna run, and then you will see it, and then you add cluster computing to your study. Here, you should enable use batch licenses. This is very important because if you don't enable this option, you don't use batch licenses. For example, for people who are in EMPA, you know that we have uh, batch licenses together with our normal licenses. So, uh, Another option, another, another advantage of this uh, batch mode is that you don't have to use normal licenses. So if you enable this, you can use uh, batch licenses, which are usually free, as you can see in the calendar, and without occupying uh, the normal licenses. So just remember always to check this and uh, enable this option here. Then it's done. You just save and close it. So this is the only thing that you should do on your uh, model. The next step would be making your action sequence file. It means that uh, you go to this directory, Win64 directory of your console. If you use the, you follow the normal procedure of installing console, it should be in this C uh, uh, drive and this in this folder in this directory exactly. You go here, you make a dot bat file here, and then you can open this dot bat file and edit it and add your comments that I'm gonna talk about the comments in the next line. 
Just another hint here, uh, sometimes here you should give a permission because it's in C, so you should give a permission to your computer uh, that I will show you how, that you can add this file here and then run uh, easily. So, what about comments? The basic comments that we have. This is the basic template for the comments that we have. So we write console batch, you have your input file. This is a director of your input file, the file that you're gonna work or the file uh, or, or you wanna you wanna solve. And then there is output file and the directory of your output file. It means that you can have both files, unsolved and solved uh, file. Usually I do it like that. Usually I just write another name in output file. Then I have both in, uh, uh, the initial file and the solved one. This this is the basic basic template for uh, running console in batch mode. Then there are also some other commands like uh, which a specific study you want to run or if you want to have a log file, then you can monitor what happens during your uh, simulation or for example, after one week of running, you want to see if there was an error or not. Uh, you can have a log file that you can add uh, some other uh, commands there. Or if you want to allocate some uh, like a specific uh, course to your simulation, for example, just imagine that you have 10 cores on your system and then you want to have two cores on this simulation and eight cores on the other simulation. These all these are all uh, possible with uh, doing this console batch, but uh, you should just use these comments, uh, the specific comments for them. These comments are available on our website in a multiphysics hub. Also, you can use console user inter user guide for that. And then when you you're done with these comments and you you wrote these comments, uh, you're basically just have to double click on the test, test that path. And there is no other uh, procedure to follow. So let's see an example, a very, very quick example here. I will show you the example just by now. Yes, this is the file that I'm gonna work on and I'm gonna run this file. As you can see, this is in this directory. So I open the file, which I already opened to save the time. I go here, I enable batch and cluster. Then when I come here, I should see this cluster computing no, uh, note here that I can add. Yes, as you can see, and here is the most important part that you just enable this to use this batch licenses. That's basically it. I just save it and it's done. Next step would be going to this directory that I already took, that is the normal directory for uh, that you can put your console batch. Just another point here. It is possible to run also this console batch file or this .bat file in any other directory like you putting on your desktop. But I tried, this is the most straightforward and simplest way and it's somehow faster. The other one, the other way sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work, but this is the, this is a very simple way. Just you put here your uh, .bat file. So sometimes you should give the permission here, you go to the security, you just give all the uh, permission here, then you have this file here. I call this file test, you can see it here. I open it, I edit, then I can add the lines here. This is the this is the uh, template that I showed to you. Console batch. We always start with that input file directory of input file. This is the directory as you can you could see exactly here. This is exactly this directory with the name of the file. And then I want to have the output file exactly in the same directory, but I just added this out that uh, this output name also there. Then I can show, then I can see it afterwards. Here is the study part. I want to. A study just a study number one. Uh, this is very, very, there is a very small and but very useful point here. Here, when you write a study, you should write the tag, not the label. So, how can you see the tag of your study? For example, here on this study, I go here on the properties, you will see the tag of this study is STD1. I just add this STD1. So, be careful, don't use a study one, which is the label. Always use the tag. For that, you should always go here and see in the properties. And also I wanna see my uh, simulation log, uh, then if, I, if there was a problem with my simulation or not, or I can follow the procedure. Here, I just again give the same directory and I just uh, add a uh, name with that log. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, with that log name at the end. 
So this is basically it. I save it like this. And then I have it there in the my batch file there. Again, I go back to the Win64. I just double click on that. It should run, which is here now. Yes, you can see it's running now. That this is the first line that I wrote here. And then uh, even it's done, this file is, then this, this line is done, which is the first simulation that I'm gonna do. It goes to the next simulation exactly with the same template, but maybe in the other directories. But this is now running. If I go to the folder of my console, I can see the log here. If I open the log, you will see here that, okay, console is starting in batch mode uh, on this time. If I update it later, I can, I can see the other things. Now you can see the output file, uh, it's running here. And then when it's done, uh, you will see also then another details about, about my console file. So, yes, that's it about the example. I'm not gonna wait for the simulation to be done. So I just move on to the next points, which is here. And if meanwhile it's done, I will show it to you. So we saw an example. I hope it was uh, helpful for you. And that's it. Highlights of uh, this third episode are we wanted to run console jobs in the background to save time, licenses, and resources. And the take home message would be despite being easy, as you could see, it's very easy to set, but uh, it can save, uh, save uh, days of our a simulation and over time. Uh, the last two points is that everything is on our website. We also upload this, uh, the link of this uh, video on our website. You can go this to the website. You already probably know. Uh, all the steps are here. This is the website address. And also we have upcoming workshop, simulation and sensing day at EMPA. I hope uh, if you're, you like, you can join. And this is our contact uh, address. Thanks for this very short meeting. I hope it's useful for you. If there is a question, I'm available to hear and answer. Okay, Kamran, thank you very much for the nice presentation. Very helpful. One thing that would interest me is, I guess there is also an option that you can say uh, that it runs the same study, which is with different parameters. Uh, well, you mean like um, uh, like sweeping? sweeping yes. For, so, for example, it just takes temperature parameter, for example, and then it just does study yeah. for different yeah. temperatures. Uh, I think it's possible, but I really I didn't I didn't work like that. I usually do the sweep on uh, on the study exactly do the, all the t the sweep things that I want to run in the study. So you can set all these uh, uh, settings there. For example, which parameter you want to sweep on, mm -hmm. and then then when you just run the study, it's run, it runs that sweep. Uh, All but right. I think it's also possible. I'm not that much into that. Usually it's more straightforward to do it on your study, I think. Okay, good. Then, then I'll try to, to figure it out that way. Thanks a lot. Yeah, hope. Is there any other question? Uh, hi, I am... Domenico Tallarico, uh, Lab uh, 509. So I would like to know, uh, so I have, I'm working on console now on the interface. And uh, if you can go back to the slide where you show the, how to activate the batch mode. Because uh, uh, I can't slide. find it. This is slide. Exactly, yes. yes. Now if I click on this, maybe it's a versioning thing. Uh, you are showing a version 5.5. Yes, exactly. Okay, maybe they changed something then. Because on the 5.4, I don't see. Uh, so uh, if I click, if I okay. click that you little. Mean this, I, you, you mean this icon? Uh, icon, icon. Yes, the one. Uh, number number one, okay. Number uh, one. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, then there should be, I have several options like stabilization, advanced results. Yes, uh, so this is this is actually, this is in older version. If we see it in our website, I can 
Just okay, then uh, all website. I yes, it's in, in older version, there are the other names there. I already wrote it in our website, so you can see it. I think it's uh, cluster computing, something like that, that you should uh, click on. Oh, all right, fine. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. So thank you everybody for joining and hope you have a good afternoon. Thank you. Ciao. Bye. Ciao.